Welcome to the Cabaret of Math, ladies and gentlemen. It is a math language. I need you to add with the poet. These alchemists have divided the divine information. I promise y'all, man. Listen, the sum is in the proof. Saturated in paragraphs, the divine righteous information has been changed to this new knowledge. People, I have a couple of questions to ask. There are 14 Jesus stories that I know of. You hear me? Three of them. Amin Ra, Hali Krishna, and Zorusta. Mm, Google it. Now, a certain bunch of conscious people, people, if a plane is going 500 miles an hour east and the planet is rotating, flipping all that stuff 10,000 miles an hour west, how do these pilots know where the proper airport is to land in? Damn it, they got to be exact, right? Come on, people. The satellites rest in the thermosphere, 56 miles in the air. 1,886 artificial satellites, 500 million apiece. That's 2 trillion easily. You hear me? Do the math with the poet. They lying. Or they supposed to orbit the Earth or our solar system, all the planets, comets, asteroids, and pieces of space debris, and other pieces of stuff. More than half of the satellites in orbit about the Earth are within the atmosphere. And the two regions of the atmosphere in which the satellites commonly orbit are the thermosphere, meaning heat. At capacity of 3,600 degrees Fahrenheit, space.com is the reference, unquote. The toughest metal on the planet, y'all, is chromium. C-H-R-O-M-I-U-M. Google. And it melts at 3,400 degrees Fahrenheit, people. The satellites are made of titanium, aluminum, nickel, cadmium, all alloys, mixture, alchemy, built with the poet, that melt. At 158 degrees Fahrenheit. Google it. That's not even a boiled egg, people. 56 miles is 300,000 feet. How come we can talk on the phone, on the ground, but when we get 40,000 feet closer to the so-called satellites, we lose service. People, they lying. Where are the satellites? Because they ain't in the thermosphere because it would be satellite soup. Bill with the poet. It's math. They lying. I promise. We're the satellites, we're the satellites, 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 I'm telling you, because math say they can't be in the thermosphere, because it'd be satellite soup. Get nice, y'all, sip the drinks, man, the summer's in the proof, saturated in the paragraphs, this divine righteous information has been changed to this new knowledge, sip, sip the drinks, drinks, I'm telling you, man, follow the poet. I'm telling you, man, the thermosphere is 3,600 degrees, man. Toughest metal on the planet melts at 3,465. Come on, y'all. We're the huge comets and the asteroids and the other planets. Because one Genesis says from a man, Elohim said that. Thank you. Dome ceiling with water over it. Sun, moon, stars set inside the dome ceiling. So math, not the poet. Elohim, math. Elohim, math. Pure, exact fact. Again, says either he lying people please or the most lie lientists is lying you know hear I me mean? no biblical mathematical man open it up with the heathen first chronicles 1630 the world is firmly established it cannot move 2 8 first samuel the earth has foundations that was set by elohim isaiah 40 22 he stretches over the earth like a canopy spread it out like a tent do the mathematics with the poet Job 27 7 come on y'all he suspends the earth over nothing. Do the math. Sip the drinks. Y'all get nice. You hear me? They lying. They are lying. Job 26.7. He suspends the earth over nothing. Now, all that means something, people. Because orbit means rotate. Planets are not mentioned in one Genesis. Only a dome ceiling with water over it. And the solar system would be a lot of not mentioned planets in one Genesis because he still got the dome, ceiling, vault, roof, ceiling, canopy, tent over the earth. Then Elohim put the water, not space, over it. So throw out the comets, asteroids, and the space debris <laughs> in with the solar system. You know, the orbits and the planets and that bull script. You know what I mean? Because first feet of 5 eight clearly says the roaring lion was sent here to devour naive souls 4 4 2nd corinthians follow the heathen satan comma is the god of this world comma 
and he is deceiving the minds that don't believe it. You better read this in a math language and add with the poet, man. The alchemists have divided divine notions. I promise, sip the drink. The sum is in the proof. Saturated in the paragraphs, this divine righteous information has been changed to this new knowledge, people. Somebody is lying. And it ain't the most high, damn it. It's the most lying NASA, Lord Massa. It's a math language. Add with the poet. Peace Creation Bay. Welcome to my cabaret of math. Peace Creation Bay. Just feel my car.